Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is Friday, which means there's a lot of yard sales around. So um, I checked on Craigslist for about 20 minutes. I didn't want to drive really far away. I wanted to stay within, um, within a couple miles of my house. So I went on Craigslist and I searched for four of the best ones that were pretty guaranteed to find something. So I found three yard sales and one estate sale. One of the yard sales, there's no pictures, it just has like a description, but the description seems pretty good. It says like it has jewelry and some other things, um, some fishing gear. The other two yard sales have specific items that I'm looking to um, look at for a little bit further. Uh, one of them has like really good quality acoustic foam here for the studio. And the other one is, I can't exactly remember, let me see here. Oh yeah, the other one has like, um, bar stools and stuff like that, which is another thing I need here for for the guitar shop So um, anyway, let's go ahead out to these yard sales. We're gonna do a quick loop. We'll be done before noon um, It is like nine o'clock. We'll be done way before noon So um, that's what I'm looking to do because I got so much work to do here at the shop So we'll do a little bit of treasure hunting. We'll see what we can find and I hope you guys enjoy the video All right, the first one was an estate sale and I got a handful of interesting stuff here. Paid 10 bucks for everything. Let's take a look. This, I believe, is silver. It doesn't have silver stamped on it anywhere. Um, but it really does look silver. It's been engraved and everything. So we'll test that when we get back. This thing, I did a Google search on it. An image search. And this is possibly a rare art piece that is silver and today was like the last day of the sale so they said just make an offer and i just gave them a handful of stuff and they said 10 bucks this I'm not 100 percent sure it doesn't look like silver or gold but it has some interesting hallmarks there i'll research those when i get back a really good uh a good quality ruler Thick metal. I already have a couple at home, but they're always good to have laying around. And then two old pairs of scissors. Again, I'll show these in more detail when we get home, but they are antique. Yeah, this one here is Brooklyn, New York. And this one here is uh, made in France. So we'll, we'll take a closer look at those when we get back. All right, that was just the first estate sale. And I wasn't really expecting too much here but we got some good stuff. Let's go to the next one. All right, we're at the next one here. Sorry for the shaky camera. Right there, let's take a look. I've got all my finds in my half inch Arbor Fabricating classifier. That was number two of four. I wasn't expecting too much at this one. There was no pictures, but they had mentioned some interesting things. So we have two more to go and they're pretty close. All right, I got some nice big fat acoustic foam here. I do need some for the studio and I may have overpaid a little bit. I paid $7 for eight pieces. And it's not a bad deal at all. These things are way more expensive. And yeah, for the they're really big ones. So I'm happy with that. All right, two more to go. All right, this one here is on kind of a busy road. Man, I would hate to live right next to a busy road like this. All right, we're back at the studio and I checked this here and it is not silver, it's not gold. It's just um, an interesting hallmark that made me pick this thing up and yeah, it, it got me interested. So I definitely wanted to at least check it out. And then it says Lincoln Cathedral. So that's, I know that's in the UK, but uh, this spoon is not gold or silver. I didn't think it was. I was just interested in the interesting hallmark. This is probably a late 1800s napkin ring it is sterling silver and that 
has some weight to it as well. There is an inscription on there. But somebody took their time with this thing. They carved that by hand a long time ago. That's really cool. It's a big chunk of silver. Next we have this thing here. Actually, let's save this for last. Here we have two sets of scissors. So I did some research on these and this AR Wanerik is a Russian immigrant that moved to Manhattan. I couldn't actually find the scissors, but a lot of his items are selling, um, like vintage stuff is selling for good amounts of money. Um, I'm not gonna say that this is super valuable because I don't know, and I did, I did a good amount of research and I couldn't find anything. Maybe somebody else can, but um, I did find out that this, pair of scissors. These were selling on eBay in the past anywhere between eight and $18. This, I'm just gonna guess about the same. So we can call that $15 for both of them at the low end. That's about an ounce of silver. So what is that, $20 right now? I don't even know what silver's at. I would guess $20 melt value. So here we're at like $35. These rulers, they're selling for five bucks on eBay. That's 40 bucks. This, I don't know what they're worth, so zero. Okay, we're at 45 bucks. This thing is silver. I tested it on the tester. It um, is dark red, which means it is sterling silver. I will put it on the screen up here in the corner. In the picture, those are made by uh, this guy back in the late 1800s. However, if you look at the inscription on that one, the AB, this is different. And I did a Google image search and that Armand guy kept coming up. I think this might be a copy or a counterfeit or something because this has an AW inscription on it and it says R-E-K and the Armand one says E-A-U. So I really don't know, but I do know that the Armand ones, they can sell for that much. Thing is, I don't know what this is. Like I don't, I know it's silver, I did test it, but I don't know if it's valuable. I don't know if it's just a counterfeit, but either way, it's silver. I'm not gonna melt it down just in case it is something. If somebody knows any information on that, um, that'd be great. It's about, it's pretty light. I'd say about five bucks worth of silver. So we'll call that $50. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any information on any of this stuff, uh, please let us know in the comments. And that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left. So thanks so much. And also big thanks to all my major credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.